I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get to stay So the time is currently 7.05 on Wednesday 29th of April And yeah, I literally just woke up Past few nights I haven't had the best sleep Because I've been woken up with really bad period cramps Fun fact about me um, I get the most excruciating period pain ever They are awful Luckily last night I did have some like my period cramp medication that works wonders so i woke up at like five i think this morning with some pain i just took the um medication and it went away thank god but the night before that i woke up at like three and i was up oh it was bad if you get period cramps like bad period cramps i'm sure you understand it's not fun it's painful so i'm not exactly sure what i want to do today I, my plan was to film kind of like a how i'm staying healthy in quarantine video but in all honesty i haven't been the most like productive well not productive like I've been productive. I haven't really been doing any exercise lately and like I haven't been exercising a lot at all really. Um, but like before I was going on lots of walks and like at least moving my body and I haven't really been doing that lately. Um, so the plan was to go for a walk this morning or today at least. So hopefully I can do that. It's just when I'm on my period, I just don't want to do anything. My little like morning, like wake up morning routine has been the same. I basically wake up and I've been having my Tropica body bloom um, every morning morning for the past since I got it basically so I think maybe not quite a week but I've been really really liking that so I'll show you how I make that and I have my coffee and I kind of just chill out for the first part of the morning so yeah Hello friends, it is currently Connor from the future here. I just wanted to quickly pop in and let you know that this video is sponsored by Audible. This is the second time that they've worked with me on a video, which is super exciting. So since the majority of the world are all stuck at home at the moment, Audible are actually now giving members the opportunity to download all of the Audible original monthly selection rather than having access to only two of them at a time, as well as one free Audible book of your choice. I'm the type of person that I don't really like silence. I like to have some sort of noise in the background all the time. So I love like chucking on an audiobook if I'm just like hanging out the washing or just kind of like even editing photos I'll have an audiobook in the background just like listening to subconsciously I don't know it's just a really good way to occupy your mind as someone who is always thinking about everything and anything it's nice to kind of distract yourself especially in such a stressful time like now so my audiobook recommendation for this video is definitely The Miracle Morning by Hal I don't know how to say his last name it'll be on the screen this is definitely more of like a self-help book it just gives you all these tips about how waking up early Early and having kind of like a schedule and routine can really help transform your life and I definitely think that is the case I'm the type of person who thrives in a routine with some flexibility at the same time I'm definitely the most productive in the morning so I found this really really good I also want to quickly mention that audible actually has a free service now so you can go to stories.audible.com and you can listen to free stories you don't have to be a member of audible which is really cool so if you do want to check out audible you can go to www.audible.com forward slash Connor Kathleen or you can text Connor Kathleen to 500 500 to get one free audiobook, unlimited audio originals, and a 30 day free trial. Everything is also in the description box as well if you are interested. Alrighty, so enough of me and back to my what I eat in a day. So I'm back in my room now. Oh, I swear my neck doesn't look this orange in real life. I don't know why it's doing that. But it's now 8.40. Do you ever get this sudden urge to just like clean everything? That was me with the kitchen. I was gonna do like a time lapse, but I was just like, eh, oh well. But I just like wiped down the benches, cleaned like the stove top and just cleaned up everything and like got vacuumed the floor because it was really dirty. So I just did that. So what I'm gonna do now, I think I'm gonna make myself go on a walk, even though I don't really feel like it, but I think getting out of the house and getting some fresh air will make me feel better. I'm gonna make my bed. Um, by the time I get back from my walk, I'll probably make breakfast. Uh, I try to do intermittent fasting or like my version of intermittent fasting, just meaning I have my first 
meal later in the day. However, I'm really hungry right now. It's probably because I'm on my period, but I'm very hungry. So I think I'm gonna go on my walk. I usually eat around 10.30 to 11 each day. And I usually try and stop eating at 6 p.m. each night. So I try and do like 16-ish ish hours. I'm not too hard on myself with it, but I'm just trying to take it easy. So you don't always have to be like being super productive and working out, like, you know, getting quarantine fit, you know? I'm gonna do that. I thought it was gonna be really cold today and I was excited, but it's getting quite hot. Yeah, I'm gonna make my bed and then we're gonna go for a walk. Oh God, that's bright. <laughs> okay, so change of plans. I just got dressed. I put on like a little crop from Pretty Little Thing. Um, I'm not gonna go for my walk this morning. <laughs> I think I'm gonna transfer it to the afternoon because I am starving, like to the point where I feel like I'm gonna be sick if I don't eat something. I haven't been this hungry, like at this time in the morning for a long time, I don't know why. So every time I vlog, something goes wrong. So I'm gonna eat my breakfast uh, now, just cause yeah, I'm freaking starving, man. It's probably my period. I'm gonna make these little egg cup thingies that are really, really good. So yeah, I'm gonna go up and make breakfast in my very clean kitchen that I cleaned. By the way, I'm not on a keto diet. I just, this is just what I want for breakfast today. So I've got all my ingredients here. I've got in this bowl two eggs and 100 grams of egg whites. And I'm going to whisk that together. And I'm going to put in some paprika. I've got some ham, mushrooms, and cheese. That's just what I want to put in my little egg muffins. So I find that if I have a really high protein breakfast, it keeps me fuller way longer than like a smoothie does. Um, that's just me, but I do enjoy having smoothies for breakfast as well. So I've got my ham chopped up, cut up these mushrooms. By the way, for the quantities, I've got 30 grams of ham, 100 grams of mushrooms, and then 10 grams of just like, uh, tasty cheese. I like to track everything just because I know then what I'm eating. My eggs in here. I should have just put them in there to begin with because it's going to make it easier to pour into like the muffin tray. So then I'm going to take this silicone like muffin tray. I just cut it so I can fit it into my air fryer and I'm going to spray it a little bit with just like some cooking oil. So just so... I don't stick. I think I'm gonna have four. I'm not exactly sure. I've never made this much before. So then what I'm gonna do is pour some of the eggs into each little thingy me bob. You can just crack the egg directly into these things, but I think one mini one. <laughs> so put the egg mixture in there. Then I'm gonna sprinkle some of the ham into each of the little muffins. <laughs> These would be really good to make too, like to have on the go. So then you can just like heat them up in the microwave or whatever. And then I'm going to sprinkle some of the cheese on top and it's going to taste so yummy. I'm going to leave some of the cheese as well to sprinkle when it's um, come out and ready to serve. So kind of lightly mix that in. So then I'm going to take my eggs. <gasps> Try not to spill them on the floor like I just did. <laughs> And then I'm going to pop them in to my air fryer and I kind of spill it every time, but so that's what they look like And I'm gonna close her up turn it on and I usually do like 180 for like 12 minutes depending on how hard you like your egg Let that go The air fryer is on so I'm sorry if you can hear that but I've just made a black I look so for the mushrooms, basically I just fry those up and have them as like a side dish. So I'm gonna turn on the pan now. There must be some like leftover residue in that pan because she's gone bananas. But I'm gonna pop my mushrooms into the pan. Mushrooms shrink a lot when you like saute them or you cook them. So it looks like a lot now, but it won't be. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to that as well. Got the shrimps, yummy. So this is what they look like when you take them out of the air fryer or your oven. They can spill over like that, but I mean, it's fine. You just pull it off and eat it. So I'm going to try and pop these out of their casings. It's probably best to let them cool, but I have no patience for that. So I'm going to attempt to get them out. Sometimes they come out all pretty and perfect and other times they just don't want to come out. Oh 
Okay, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is what they look like. They taste so good. And then I'm gonna take some of the cheese and sprinkle her on top. So this is gonna be my breakfast for today. I'll put the calories on the screen if you are interested. It's actually not that high in calories, but it's super, super filling. I'm gonna eat this now and enjoy every single bite. <laughs> the only thing about this meal is it's not the most aesthetic thing in the world, but tastes good. That's what they kind of look like inside. So they've got the ham running throughout them with cheese and it's just so delicious, okay? Um, so today my to-do list is probably going to consist of basically filming this video What I do need to do though is buy a new tripod for this vlogging camera because the one I've got It's the only one I've ever had. It's like that Joby tripod and I don't know if it's just super old But it's terrible <laughs> so I'm gonna go on Amazon. I think I found the tripod that I want. It's $70 Part of me thinks that I could get it like buy a $20 tripod and it would be okay I spend a lot of time fiddling with my tripod at the moment. So I, I kind of want to get a good one See, Amazon's choice is $31. She looks fine. Mm, maybe I could get that one. This is the other one I was looking at, which, I mean, they look the same. Like, as long as it does the job, I don't really care. This one doesn't get any taller, though, whereas I think this one does. But do I need it to get bigger? That's the question. We're gonna go with the small one, and if it isn't very good, well, that's my fault. So, and I think this is, it's Amazon's choice. So, gotta listen to Amazon. Want it by Friday? Yeah, I do. Okay, so right now, I'm just gonna start editing this vlog. I'm sorry if this is not very entertaining, but gen, like, this is what I'm doing for today. I might continue this vlog over the next few days if I do something more interesting, but I will update you when I see you next. Good morning, guys. So, it is actually Saturday today. Oh, that's not cute. I actually got a lot of footage from that one, like, morning of me filming. So, today is Saturday, and I'll kind of show you, like, the rest of what I eat in a day, um, because it's fairly similar every single day. I have the exact same dinner every single night. The time is currently nearly 8.30. I woke up at, like, 6 this morning. By the way, I tanned last night, so my face looks very, like, um, freshly fake tanned. But my tripod actually came in. I'm using it right now to film with, and it's so much better than um, my other one. It's I'll try and show you what it looks like later on. Also, um, I have a fringe now. Do we like it? Do we not? I don't. It's obviously not like styled at the moment. But anyway, this is the situation with my bedding at the moment. This is not my normal Duna cover because when I came home like yesterday from just getting some um, necessities, one of the cats peed on my Duna. She's never done that before. I think it was Kiara. So I have to get my Duna cover dry clean. So I'm using the one from the spare room at the moment. Plus I've, I've tanned. So anyway, on another note, very exciting. It's actually really, really cold <laughs> today. When I woke up at like six, it was 13 degrees celsius and that is very cold for brisbane um so i am like decked out in sweats and a jumper and socks I this is my absolute favorite weather like i love summer don't get me wrong but when it's like sunny but cold like i love it like i'll show you what i look like right now don't mind the background but this is i'm like wearing all black <laughs> Those TikToks where it's like, how to make your dress up your sweats. And it's like, go for monochromatic. Um, This is just all from pre level thing. It's like super oversized. But I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do today. The restrictions in Brisbane, not Brisbane, in Queensland, um, have been eased slightly, I believe, from today. Let's put some makeup on, shall we? Is this an unflattering angle? I think it might be. So, I'm 
I'm just in the middle of making my lunch. I've been having this lunch for the past like few days. Currently cooking up a storm in the kitchen. Basically, I've just been making this giant salad. I've prepared most of the ingredients that are, oh gosh, the eggs are ready. The reason I love eating this so much is because it feels like I'm eating a lot of food. I don't know about you, but I like to eat a lot of food. So by doing a salad, it feels like I'm eating more when really I'm just having lettuce and veggies. Mind the mess, but this is the lettuce. Normally I'd actually have a little bit more than this, but this is all that was left of the lettuce. I've got some pickles, some um, capsicum, red onion, carrot, some ham, some cheese, and then I've got some cauliflower and broccoli in the microwave steaming. So those are done. I pretty much just put whatever vegetables we've got in the house at the time. So this is what we've got. This is the dressing that I'm going to use. Oh gosh. It's the Walden Farms low fat, low carb, low calorie Italian dressing. It is a little bit high in sodium, but I'm going to win some, you lose some. I'm going to add like a tablespoon of that. And then I mix it in with my hands. I'm sorry if you find that offensive, but my hands are clean. I swear I just wash them. Add my carrot. It's just easier, isn't it? Snip that all in and I've got ham I just added about 30 grams of ham because otherwise if I don't have a source of protein like the egg and the ham I'm gonna be starving in like four seconds that's what the salad is currently looking like I'm gonna chop up a hard-boiled egg I love adding eggs into my salad I am quite hungry today and usually on the weekends I don't like I haven't really been tracking anything today just because it's Saturday and this will keep me so full add my cheese this is about 10 grams and then I've got some more vegetables I told you the salad is absolutely massive but it's so yummy mix it around a little bit and then I just like to add some sriracha but like even though this is a massive volume of food it's like not crazy high in calories because it is majority like vegetables so um this is gonna keep me full but look at that isn't she gorgeous I made this the other day as well but just a slightly different virgin virgin <laughs> isn't that just the sexiest thing you've ever seen in your life also got a cup of tea I'm gonna eat this and enjoy so yeah I will probably see you guys at Okay, so this is what I had for dinner. This is what I have every single night. I am obsessed with it. It's basically carrot mash, some veggies, and then some grilled cod. It is so, so good. And I was filming on my phone and I'm doing a voiceover because my family get annoyed at me when I vlog really loudly at dinner time. So. And then for dessert, what I've been having lately is just some jelly light with some Chobani Greek yogurt. It's really nice and like very lightweight, if that makes sense. Like it's not super heavy. So I like to just put some in a bowl, chuck a little bit of Greek yogurt in there. I know this looks so weird, but trust me, it tastes really good. I add some sugar-free maple. Sometimes I'll add some like berries to it as well, but it's just so easy. It's not too heavy um, and it's so yum. And I love having something sweet like this after my dinner. And I probably had a cup of tea as well. Okay, so I just finished editing this vlog. I forgot to end it off as per usual. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little like what I eat in a day slash days. Um, I'm terrible at filming everything on one day, I swear. But that is basically kind of a snapshot of what I would eat on a day-to-day -day basis. That dinner is definitely what I would normally have. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and you want to see more what I eat in a day. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world. And I shall see you birds being so loud today in my next one. Bye.